It was built to peer into the past, to witness the birth of galaxies and glimpse the dawn of time itself. But in the silence of deep space, the James Webb Space Telescope saw something no one expected, something that shouldn't exist. Launched on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was humanity's most advanced eye on the cosmos. Positioned at the L2 Lagrange point, a million miles from Earth, it floated silently in space, shielded from the sun's glare, built to look farther than any telescope before. Webb's mirrors, coated in gold, were designed to detect infrared light, the light of the oldest stars, the earliest galaxies, and the most distant corners of the universe. With its 6.5-meter primary mirror, it could see events that happened over 13 billion years ago. The world watched in awe as Webb began transmitting its first images, stunning galaxies, newborn stars, and nebulae like cosmic paintings. But in early 2025, one of its routine deep field scans detected a shadow. Not a planet, not a galaxy, not even a black hole, but something that reflected no light, absorbed all wavelengths, and, most mysteriously, moved. It was first spotted in a wide-angle image targeting a quiet region beyond Max 0647 JD, one of the oldest galaxies ever seen. In the corner of the image, a void stood out, darker than space itself. Analysts at the Space Telescope Science Institute initially believed it to be a processing error, but it wasn't. The shadow had shifted positions in three separate images taken hours apart. Whatever it was, it was real, and it was moving. NASA immediately redirected Webb's near-infrared spectrographer, or NIRSPEC, to gather more data. Over the next 48 hours, the team observed an object that did not match any known profile. Not a rogue planet, not an asteroid, and not a brown dwarf. It had no heat signature, no reflected radiation, no spectroscopic profile. It was, in the words of one web engineer, quote, like looking at a hole punched into the universe, unquote then something happened that turned a scientific anomaly into a full-blown cosmic mystery. The object responded. As the James Webb Telescope focused on the mysterious object, it attempted to use gravitational lensing to analyze the surrounding space, bending light around it to see beyond. But the lensing effect failed. Light didn't bend. Instead, it disappeared. This anomaly defied physics. It didn't behave like a black hole. There was no X-ray emission, no distortion of background galaxies, no spaghettification of matter. It was a void of unknown origin. Then, at 0337 UTC, an automatic system alert was triggered. Webb's instruments detected an incoming signal, a burst of radiation, extremely low frequency, structured and sustained, originating directly from the anomaly. It wasn't natural. The frequency intervals followed a pattern, Fibonacci sequence, mirrored in harmonic progression. This wasn't just a cosmic echo. It was mathematical, intelligent. Someone or something was reaching out. The radiation wasn't dangerous, but it was precise. And it didn't stop. For six straight hours, the telescope received pulses spaced exactly 13.7 seconds apart, the same number as the age of the universe in billions of years. Coincidence? Maybe. But what followed was undeniable. The telescope's mid-infrared instrument recorded a shape, not physical, but a field distortion in space resembling a rotating tetrahedron a geometric solid of four triangular faces, often associated with early quantum geometry theories and ancient symbology. It shimmered, then blinked out, and returned in another position in less than a second, 
as if space itself folded, allowing the object to jump across light years in moments. The James Webb team, working alongside AI-assisted analyzers, began reconstructing the signals into a visual waveform. It took hours, but when complete, a symbol emerged. Simple, circular, surrounded by three arcs, like crescents orbiting a central void. It bore no resemblance to any human language, yet it looked deliberate. When news leaked to independent observatories, one radio astronomer in Chile made a chilling discovery. The signal's pulse intervals matched exactly with a strange repeating frequency once picked up by Voyager 1 in 2024, but never explained. Two objects, two missions, one signal. Suddenly, theories spread like wildfire. Was this an advanced civilization signaling us using the structure of space itself? Was it a natural, interdimensional phenomenon we had no frame of reference for? Or had we finally encountered a technology so advanced it appeared to us as magic? And then the pulses stopped. Silence. But before they vanished, the last signal contained something else, an encoded set of galactic coordinates. They pointed to a sector of space known as DRC 3723A, a vast starless region, once thought empty. NASA, ECA, and other international observatories turned their attention to DRC 3723A, the region indicated by the final coordinates. What they found was not a planet or a star cluster, but a perfect sphere of blackness, 200,000 kilometers wide. No light entered it. No radio waves exited. It was invisible to Hubble, invisible to Chandra. But Webb, using its infrared capabilities, detected a cold outline, like a shadow frozen in space-time. Inside this void, something pulsed, not light, not heat, information. A repeating pattern of primes, hexagonal rotations, and what appeared to be a dimensional frequency code beyond the current framework of human physics. One theoretical physicist, Dr. Amara Lee, proposed that the object was not from our universe, but an interdimensional crossing point, a bubble between realities, where the laws of nature as we know them collapse and reform. And maybe something on the other side was watching. The James Webb Telescope was never designed to send signals, only to receive. But its data had already traveled across Earth, into satellites, into servers, and maybe, just maybe, into eyes that weren't human. For weeks after the event, Webb continued scanning the region. Then, on July 14, 2025, Exactly one year after Voyager 1 received a similar signal, Webb recorded a short burst of radiation again. This time, the encoded image resembled Earth's own hydrogen map, the universal language we sent out with Voyager's golden record in 1977. It was mirrored, reflected, as if something had received our message and responded. What did the James Webb Telescope really find? Was it a cosmic fluke, a natural oddity, or proof that we are not alone? Drop your thoughts in the comments, like this video if it blew your mind, and subscribe for more space mysteries. The universe is bigger, older, and stranger than we ever imagined, and we've only just begun to open our eyes.